Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a really chill review of the new Kylie and Jordan Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I don't really feel like sitting down and doing my normal structured professional eyeshadow palette review. I kind of just want to sit down, do my makeup, and talk with you guys. So it's not going to be my normal layout, but if you guys end up liking it, please give this video a thumbs up for me. I'm still going to give you all the details and information on this palette. So if you want to see me do an eye look and complete my makeup and kind of just talk to you guys about some things, then just keep on watching. So this palette really caught my eye. It is a $45 palette. It is a collaboration between Kylie Jenner and her best friend Jordan Woods. The packaging is everything. They look like glammed out Bratz dolls and I love the rose gold foil on this carton. So I do want to keep this carton and maybe display it in my beauty room. Speaking of which, I have some things in the works that might allow me to do a beauty room tour for you guys. Crossing my fingers, maybe we will have that on my channel around the holiday season. So here is what the inside of the palette looks like. It's like a chocolate brown, beautiful color with the rose gold foil. It says Kylie Hart Jordan. Here is the inside of the palette. It has a really large, really clear mirror and then all of the eyeshadows with their names directly underneath them, which I really appreciate. So there are 12 shades in the palette. There's a pretty good mix of shimmers and mattes. I am personally in love with this palette. From the moment I saw it revealed, I needed it in my life because it has neutrals, but it also has purples in it, which really react well with my hazel eyes. So I love the color scheme. So I'm gonna leave timestamps down below whether you wanna see swatches or how they apply on my eye. I don't know when I'm gonna show you the swatches probably after I'm done doing my eye look, but I actually want to work on the eye look now. So I'm going to take this shade right here called Wild Light. It's like a neutral matte color, so I'm going to blend this into my crease. I have Painterly down on my eyes now. I'm going to blend this like kind of everywhere just as a base for the next shadows that I choose. I don't know what kind of look I'm doing yet today. I haven't decided. I do need to wear it out, so I'm not gonna do anything too awful crazy. In my personal life, I have been dealing with a lot in the past year. I already told you guys this probably, you know, when everything happened last September that I won't go into detail and I don't plan on going into detail, but basically, a lot of things have been going on like I have had mega mega relationship issues and then I lost my grandfather in May and so it's been a really really difficult year I've been going through like the deepest depression I've ever experienced and I don't even know if I can say that I've experienced it before this so that being said it's been very difficult for me to maintain social media to get online and to be in front of the camera even though in another sense it really really helps me but lately and today in particular it is really difficult to get on camera because of course I've been getting comments <laughs> that are regarding my weight which is really really lovely like just gotta love waking up to those comments right so over this year I have probably gained maybe 15 pounds and that's the most that I've ever gained in probably four years so obviously you know something's wrong because I work out consistently I've been eating really poorly and I've been going through this depression so I'm trying to change my diet and work on my mental health so this shadow the wife life shadow is blending flawlessly <laughs> into the crease on a lighter note I am kind of just like whisking it out um, on the outer corner just to make it blown out just a little bit I have not decided what shade I want to have on my lid today if any but yeah without getting like too heavy or too angry or anything like that um, I gain weight in my face first so when I sit here on camera and I have a little extra something something here that's where it shows first. Like, I'm not lucky enough to have it go to my butt or my stomach or anything first. It goes to my face and my arms. So the places that show on camera and that people can judge, that's right where it goes. 
Um, but I also have been doing heavy lifting and really, really strong workouts, I would say. So I'm also gaining muscle, which can contribute to the weight gain. So I had no reason to be upset about my body until I saw those comments. So just watch what you say online, please. Going in with a more condensed blending brush, it's kind of like a blending slash packing. This is a buff and blend E39 from Sigma. I'm going to go into the dark brown. This is called Sister and I'm going to put that into the outer third of my eye. I'm feeling mattes today. I feel like maybe this might help you guys with this review because shimmers I feel like are easier to create and harder to get wrong and mattes are what are really key in an eyeshadow palette like if the mattes suck you're not going to want to buy it if they blend beautifully then you can pretty much trust that the shimmers are going to be great so i wanted to go for like more of a matte look than anything so i hope like with me coming out and telling you guys this that if any of you can relate to what i'm going through you know that you're not alone and that you know we all experience these comments and inappropriate like unsolicited advice from people so we're in this together you guys and you know lifestyle changes little things are where you need to start and where I'm gonna start even though I have been working out consistently I have used working out as an outlet for years um, but there's you know there's a lot of other things that go into it and stress and mental health can really affect your body but I just think it's nobody else's business and I really hope that that's not me being rude. Um, I'm gonna go back in with the same blending brush that I started with and blend right over the lid and that brown color to fuse them together. I really hope that this video is not too negative for you guys. What are you gonna do though? Like. I'm only human. One thing that is kind of missing out of this palette is a brow bone highlight for me. There isn't one in this palette so that makes it a little bit difficult to create a full look because I always like to highlight my brow bone whether it's a matte shade or a shimmery shade and that's not in here and there also is not a black and there's nothing darker in the palette than the purple which is love you bitch. So unless you're creating a purple look you're not really going to be able to get super deep, any deeper than what I already have going on. This is the shade True Love. I'm going to take it with a packing brush and I'm going to pack this onto my lid and kind of hope that it doesn't make the look too dark because I wanted to keep my lid kind of lighter. Normally I would go in with like a matte bone color and this is kind of darker on the lid than it was in the pan. It's easy to make it look like a look took two seconds when you're editing, but blending really is key. Like, I spend a lot of time blending my eyeshadows, and obviously, like, I can't sit here for five minutes just straight blending. You guys would get bored, so we speed through that, but just know that there's always a lot of blending in my tutorials and anybody's tutorials. Going back in with Wife Life and this white-haired blender, I'm going to blend the entire look together. There's not as much fallout as other palettes in my collection, which I appreciate, but there definitely is some. Taking a fluffier blending brush and the deep brown called Sister, I am going to go over that brown color and kind of diffuse it a little bit over the lid just to make sure that is the standout color. I want this to be on top kind of overlapping if that makes sense taking the side of a white blender i'm going to take the shades true love and sister and blend them together tap off the excess and i'm going to blow out my lower lash line so i have kind of a huge collection of products that i want to give away to you guys i kind of want to do a birthday giveaway so my birthday is on october 13th I'm thinking I'm either going to announce the giveaway on my birthday or announce it soon and have it end on my birthday. I'm not really sure, but make sure you're following me on my other social media like Instagram. Um, probably Instagram and Snapchat is where I would announce that. So these mattes are blending perfectly, better than any other Kai Shadow palette that I've had. I actually got rid of a majority of mine, even though they were okay. I had some that were better than others, 
but I got rid of almost all of them because I wasn't reaching for them. So this one is definitely, definitely a keeper. I just actually want to walk you guys through everything today. So I'm using my favorite mascara. It is the Hourglass Caution Mascara. And I'm just going to give my upper lashes a few coats. The lashes I'm going in with are from Coco Lashes. They're in the style Chloe, but I trimmed them drastically. So they are much, much shorter than when they come in the package. I like to just pinch the false lash and my real lashes together. This one went on pretty perfectly, so I'm trying not to mess with it because it's still wet. So I'm just gonna let it dry where it is and then I'll come back and pinch the lashes together later. While those are drying, I'm gonna go in with my lower lash mascara, same product. And just very lightly hit the lashes. Sometimes I really rush through this. I'm going in with a smudge brush from Sigma. It is the E21. It's very tiny and I'm going to pick up some of the black shade out of the Sultry palette. I'm going to close my eyes and make sure that there are no glue marks or pieces of glitter in my lashes and this is kind of just a tip that I have to really hide the lash band. So I just realized I'm not wearing lipstick. I was sent the new MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks. So I'm going to try to find a nude out of here and try it on for the first time. I am obsessed with this PR packaging. It's like a giant backstage pass. Mm, this one looks promising. This is the shade My Tweety. So I'm going to apply this Powder Kiss My Tweety lipstick. Oh, this might be a little too peachy. <laughs> it's very matte, but it is powdery. Interesting. This shade is a little more peachy than I would like, but we are going to deal with it because it does, I think it does go with this look. All right, so that is it for my makeup look. I loved the way that the eyeshadow is applied, but I do want to show you guys swatches of the entire palette so I'm gonna hop off camera swatch it directly on my arm then hop back on camera and let you know my thoughts alright guys so here they are I'm sorry that I did them uneven but some of them definitely swatched better than others I'm gonna go ahead and say that her mattes in this palette really didn't swatch great um, obviously the shimmers swatched a lot lot better than the mattes but these purples right here did not swatch well but obviously as I use them on my eyes the swatches really don't reflect how they apply on the eyes because these really light swatches actually were really great on the eyes. So there they are. Take them with a grain of salt. I mean, they show you the color, but the swatches are not going to show you how they blend on the eyes. So do I think that you need this palette in your life? No, I don't. I think that there are other palettes on the market that have a more complete shade range within them. But am I happy with my purchase? Yes. So yeah, I think if I have to recommend a palette to you guys that I think does have a complete line of colors, I'm going to have to recommend the Sultry palette from Anastasia. That one is kind of blowing me away lately. I'm reaching for it every single day. So do check out that review if you want more information on it. But I did love the look I came up with today. And first impressions, I'm really liking this palette on the eyes. I'm going to have to give it a few more tries. If you guys want to see a tutorial using some of the purples and the duochrome, colors in this palette then let me know. I do think I can envision a really beautiful eye look using them and then maybe we will come to the conclusion if the purples actually suck or if they just swatch badly. But thank you all so much for hanging out with me and for watching this video and hopefully I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!